What does it mean to be a genius? Can one's genius be confined within a single realm, or does it transcend boundaries, spilling over into every sphere of one's life? The life of Michelangelo Buonarroti, one of the most celebrated artists of the Renaissance period, gives us a glimpse into the enigmatic world of genius. Born in the year 1475 in the small town of Caprese, Italy, Michelangelo was destined to become a beacon of the art world. He was a child of the Renaissance, a time when art and knowledge flourished, a period that shaped him into the divine artist he became. His father, a modest official, had high hopes for his son's future, but little did he know that Michelangelo's path was not to be one of conventional success. From an early age Michelangelo displayed an affinity for the arts, his talent did not go unnoticed. By the tender age of 13, he was apprenticed to Domenico Ghirlandaio, a prominent painter in Florence. This was a significant step, marking the beginning of a journey that would lead him to become one of the most influential artists in history. In the bustling city of Florence, Michelangelo found his canvas. He immersed himself in the study of form and figure, laying the groundwork for his unique style. He pushed the boundaries of conventional art, daring to explore uncharted territories. The young artist was relentless in his pursuit of perfection, spending countless hours perfecting his technique. His dedication to his craft was extraordinary. He believed that a true artist must learn to paint and sculpt as if they were one. This belief was a testament to his genius, a genius that was not confined to a single realm but spilled over into every sphere of his life. His work was not merely a reflection of his talent, but also a testament to his relentless pursuit of artistic excellence. In the heart of Florence, Michelangelo's journey began, setting the stage for a life dedicated to the pursuit of artistic excellence. Immersed in an environment of creativity and innovation, Michelangelo honed his skills and developed a unique style that would become his signature. As a young apprentice under the tutelage of a painter in Florence, Michelangelo was not merely learning to paint, he was absorbing the very essence of art itself, understanding its depth, and discovering his own voice within it. This period of his life was a crucible of creativity. It was here that his unique style began to take shape, a style that was marked by an astonishing attention to detail and a profound understanding of human anatomy. His figures, whether etched in marble or brought to life on canvas, were not just mere representations. They were lifelike, imbued with emotion and depth, each telling a story, each speaking a language of their own. His work was not confined to the finer details alone. Michelangelo was a master of scale and proportion. His works were grand, commanding attention from every corner of the room. He was unafraid to challenge the norms, to push the boundaries of what was considered possible in art. His creations were a testament to his ambition, his vision, and his unwavering dedication to his craft. But it was not just his skill and creativity that set him apart. It was his relentless pursuit of perfection. Every stroke of the brush, every chisel mark on the marble was deliberate, thought out. He worked tirelessly, often reworking his pieces until they met his exacting standards. His dedication was such that he would often spend days, sometimes weeks, on a single piece, working until his fingers bled, until he had captured the essence of his vision in his work. And so, with every passing day, with every masterpiece that took shape under his skilled hands, Michelangelo was not merely creating art, he was redefining it, reshaping it, breathing life into it. With every brushstroke and chisel mark, Michelangelo was not merely creating art but redefining it. The world of art was forever changed by the hands of Michelangelo. His masterpieces, such as the Statue of David and the Sistine Chapel ceiling, continue to inspire awe and wonder. Let's begin with the Statue of David, a tribute to the biblical hero and a symbol of divine beauty and strength. Carved from a single block of marble, Michelangelo breathed life into the stone, shaping David's figure with such precision and detail that it feels as though he might step off his pedestal at any moment. The statue stands as a testament to Michelangelo's exceptional skill and his ability to capture the essence of human emotion and physicality. Then there's the Sistine Chapel ceiling, a colossal undertaking that took four years to complete. Michelangelo was not a trained painter, yet he accepted the challenge, climbing atop towering scaffolding day after day. He painted scenes from the book of Genesis, from the creation of Adam to the great flood, transforming the ceiling into a visual sermon. The complexity and grandeur of the frescoes are a testament to Michelangelo's dedication and his extraordinary understanding of the human form. 
His other works too, from the Pieta to the Last Judgment, are imbued with an unparalleled intensity of emotion. Each figure Michelangelo sculpted or painted seems to possess a soul. Their expressions and postures conveying an array of human experiences, love, despair, hope, and awe. Michelangelo's work goes beyond mere representation. His masterpieces capture something divine, something that transcends the material world. His art tells us stories, invokes emotions, and makes us reflect on the nature of humanity and the divine. Every stroke of his chisel, every brush of paint was a testament to his belief in the transformative power of art. Through his creations, Michelangelo gave us a glimpse into his soul, forever imprinting his spirit onto the canvas of time. His masterpieces are not just works of art, they are windows into the mind of a genius. A man who saw the world in a way no one else could, and was able to share that vision with us through his extraordinary talent. Despite the fame and recognition, Michelangelo's path was not devoid of obstacles. However, he never let adversity deter him from his passion. Michelangelo faced a multitude of challenges throughout his artistic journey. His career was a tumultuous one, filled with political upheavals, personal conflicts, and the constant pressure to create works of unparalleled grandeur. From the beginning, he was often at odds with his patrons. His fiery temperament and uncompromising vision often led to disagreements and delays in his commissions. For instance, his work on the Sistine Chapel ceiling, one of his most famous and revered projects, was plagued with difficulties. He was primarily a sculptor, and fresco painting was not his forte. Yet he overcame his inexperience and the physical strain of painting such a massive work in an awkward position to produce a masterpiece that still captivates the world to this day. Additionally, Michelangelo lived in a time of great political unrest. The shifting power dynamics in Italy often endangered his livelihood and forced him to adapt to the changing circumstances. Yet, despite these external pressures, he remained dedicated to his craft, producing masterpieces that transcended the chaos of his era. Moreover, Michelangelo grappled with personal issues. He led a solitary life, often immersed in his work to the point of neglecting his health. His intense dedication to his art often led to periods of exhaustion and illness. But Michelangelo viewed these hardships as necessary sacrifices for the sake of his art. He once said, I am here in great distress and with great physical strain, and have no friends of any kind, nor do I want them, and I do not have enough time to eat as much as I need. My joy and my sorrow, my repose, are these discomforts. In the face of adversity, Michelangelo's unwavering commitment to his art served as his guiding light, leading him towards immortality. Michelangelo's impact on the world extends far beyond his lifetime. His work continues to be celebrated and studied, inspiring generations of artists and art lovers alike. His legacy is not just in the physical works he left behind, but also in the ways he forever altered the landscape of art. Michelangelo's influence is a testament to his unique approach to art. He was a pioneer, breaking away from the traditional styles of his time and daring to explore new territories in his craft. His distinct style, characterized by its intense emotion and intricate detail, remains a hallmark of Renaissance art. His works, such as the magnificent statue of David and the awe-inspiring Sistine Chapel ceiling, are more than just beautiful pieces of art. They are revolutionary masterpieces that forever change the way we perceive and appreciate art. His creations are not mere representations of reality, but rather, they are profound expressions of human emotion and experience. Michelangelo's legacy is not confined to the realm of art alone. His life and work serve as a source of inspiration for all. His unwavering dedication to his craft in the face of numerous challenges is a testament to the power of perseverance. His ability to create beauty amidst adversity serves as a powerful reminder of the human spirit's resilience. Today, the influence of Michelangelo can be seen in various forms of art, from painting and sculpture to architecture and design. His work continues to inspire artists around the world, pushing them to explore new boundaries in their own creations. His contributions to the world of art are timeless, transcending cultures and generations. His legacy is not just a collection of masterpieces, but a rich tapestry of inspiration, innovation, and human spirit. It is a legacy that continues to resonate with us, reminding us of the boundless potential of human creativity. Michelangelo's life was a testament to the power of art and the human spirit. His legacy, etched in stone and painted on canvas, continues to inspire us, reminding us of the boundless potential of human creativity.